Howdy, y'all. It's Ryan. And Angela. <laughs> and our cheerings. 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 It's Saturday. We are, um, we're gonna go to McDonald's because Angela tells me they have Frappuccinos that are way cheaper than Starbucks. Because <laughs> I had a Frappuccino the other day and I actually, actually kind of liked it. I don't know what that means, but so I'm gonna, <laughs> I wanted a McDonald's one. So we're gonna run to McDonald's before we take Nicholas to work today to his job. So Saturday morning McDonald's runs. Super exciting in Canton, Texas. That's right. <laughs> Follow along. Kids in Texas. It's McDonald's time. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to not eat or eat at McDonald's? That's interesting. Let us know. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite McDonald's thing? Follow along. Their breakfast burritos. Breakfast burritos? Mm -hmm. They got peppers in that? Yeah. That's probably why I don't eat them. <laughs> you know, my favorite breakfast thing is. Mm -hmm. Tasha biscuit with egg for the protein, because yeah. eggs are good for you, right? Mm -hmm. That's what they say. Sausage biscuit with egg with a Frappuccino. That's gotta be like 7,000 calories. Probably so. I'm just not gonna eat later. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Anybody else want something? What y'all want? Nicholas already had breakfast. Good morning, thank you. Water, please? Uh, want, yeah. You want a uh, can I get a caramel frappuccino? frappuccino? Like that? Uh, what are the choices? Small, medium, and large. I want a small one. Um, I need a small and also a medium. Do y'all want one? You guys caramel. Both caramel? Caramel, yes, please. Get two smalls. What? I don't want one. What for you? Uh, one more small caramel. Two breakfast burritos. Any mild or hot sauce? Mild. Mild sauce, please. Okay. Small breakfast burrito? What else for you? Uh, a sausage biscuit with egg. Want to do? Sorry, no, okay. That's it. Yeah. They don't do the sausage biscuits all day. They do the. Oh yeah, they do that one. The whatever it is. The griddle, not the griddle, but the, the, yeah, the griddle would be nice. It's the, no, it's the croissant thing, yeah, or something. Yeah. Or, no, the little English muffin. Ugh. Who wants an English muffin mm. in the middle of the day? That's why they do it all day because they're left over. Because they're uh, like, we have so many of these. Let's keep on making them. Yeah, if you had sausage biscuits all day, that would be, that's a whole other story. I'm trying to practice. Those are the ones that I Eyebrows. Biscuit, a sausage biscuit and two burritos. I think that's right. Yes. Can you take order, please? Teenage children. She thought the camera was cool. <coughs> People in London, England are gonna see this. Bro. I have handsome boys. Yeah. Mostly him because he has a beard. And glasses. And a mustache. <laughs> and eyeballs. <laughs> and ears. And ears. We'll be good. And moodiness. Moody booty. Teenage moodiness. And a giant. He's not a, almost a teenager anymore. He's a man. No, he's still a teenager. He's a man, man. He'll be a teenager for like two more years. Though. With a giant Adam's apple. See, this is what goes on in our car. Moody teenagers and cranky teenagers who get happy whenever they get food. Their mood changes when food's involved. So you wonder what happens behind the camera. This is what happens <laughs> behind the camera. Moody. We yell at our children and then we go get food. <laughs> moody 40 year old drivers. A moody 40 year old drivers. Yeah, sausage egg biscuit. Okay. I just read them off wrong. You threw me off with the McMuffin. <laughs> I don't like muffins. So. <laughs> I just read them off wrong. <laughs> Thank you. You have a good day. You too. Egg. Bicket. Yep. It's a bicket. Because I don't want a it's muffin. It's a bicket. I don't want a muffin. Get that muffin out of my face. Get that muffin out of my face. 
Hey, Muddy Morphin Muffin Rangers. That was funny. You know who likes Power Rangers? Paul. 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 <laughs> you know who knows the names of the twin, uh, twin Cobra guys from GI Joe, don't you? Paul. This guy right here sitting next to me. Uh, yeah, we're going to Walmart because we need some water and windshield wipers. <laughs> so excited. Mm -hmm. Sat with America. Let's just in. You're an idiot. He's turning on them America t-shirts. America. <clears throat> Punisher socks. Okay. Punisher okay. socks. Ow. That hurt. We should totally give that. And then Call of Duty socks. Oh. We should totally get it for the boys. Ugh. Legend of Zelda socks. NASA. Nope. Look at those Zelda ones. Zelda and Call of Duty are just for me. Zelda, you betray. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you should get those for Pat. Hey, Pat. Crocky, mate. We yes. got you some socks. Hey, they don't have socks in Australia, do they? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. If they had some Thor socks, it'd be good. Here's here's Paul's socks. Oh my gosh, I have Animaniac socks. Look. And Muppet socks. Oh, okay. <laughs> beeper, beeper, beeper. I don't know how you say it. Well, there are Thor socks. There's, you know, but they gotta get all these other ones just to get the Thor socks. Okay. Oh, I know what I'm getting Nichols for Thor. his Thor. birthday. I just want the Thor, Thor socks. Thor. I know what I'm getting Nichols for his birthday. Right. Those socks. <laughs> Space Jam socks. All he, all, know, what is up with Space Jam coming out all the time? I don't know, it's lame. Super Mario Bros. <clears throat> One up. Pretty cool, right? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Sonic. It just depends how many socks did they have. Pretty cool, huh? Windshield wipers for the avalanche. That's what we really needed was windshield wipers. But we also got uh, some water and socks. Never fails when we go to Walmart, then we end up in the Nerf gun aisle. Nerf gun. She's Instagram stories. It's Nerf gun. Mostly nothing. It got cloudy out here. Again. Storms are rolling in. What? Well, it's going to be 50% severe. We'll be fine though. Yeah. Moving along. I'm not worried. I ain't scared. I ain't worried. No problem. Alright, we've been home, unloaded all of our crap from Walmart, <laughs> and I am on my way to work. Already music. Oh, I'm late. I am late for work. The boss is gonna be pissed. Hopefully he won't dock my pay. Hopefully these kids will get out of the street. Pro tip, pro safety tip. Never play in the street, kids. Dang kids, get off my lawn. Out of my street. So you don't die. All right, the shop's actually, ow, door. 
open now. But uh, before I get in and start doing all my work work on guitars and music, I gotta change these winch whoppers because there's gonna be storms today. More East Texas storms. So check out how crappy one of my windshield wipers is. Oh man, see? <laughs> this guy's seen better days. We gotta fix that. Boom, easy enough. That was way easier than changing the starter on my Taurus. <laughs> That I did day before yesterday. If everything else was only this easy. Boom, baby. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> I like that. Get it. Well, I just finished editing the Ask RNA video that we shot yesterday with Tim, uh, my good friend Tim Worley from Uncle Book, and the Jalapeno Overdrive. And uh, that was super frustrating. Not the video with Tim, but the fact that the night before, Angela and I shot that video already. And then somewhere between the shop and the house, I lost the memory card from the camera. No idea what happened. <laughs> I've done that many times, just carried the memory cards in my pocket or in my wallet or whatever, and then got home for the editing. Somehow I lost a 64 gigabyte memory card. That really sucked. So we had to shoot the whole thing over. It's quite a long video. It's about you know 55 minutes or so. Um, so we had to shoot it twice, set up the lights, do all, all that. And so, oh my gosh. But anyway, it is finished. It is uh, rendering actually right now. It's rendering. And then after it's rendering, I will upload it. Now it's about a three gig video. So it's probably gonna take all day. So possibly late tonight, uh, the Ask RNA. But today's Saturday, we'll be up. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully that'll be good. Um, so I'm at the shop, just finished doing that. Um, tonight is a concert. I'm gonna go to a show with my buddy, the Bitter Bass Man in Tyler, Texas. We're gonna see Bowling for Soup. <laughs> and Paul's going early. He's got like VIP package stuff where he gets to meet the band and all that kind of stuff. We even gave him two cracks at it yesterday. And I still like totally messed it up. You can always just fall back on your on your old uh, bass player excuse that you used to. But you kinda can't because you play guitar in your other band. Yeah. Yeah. I, so, I, I don't I don't have that excuse for Yeah. Yeah, people will be like, you know, yeah, but you do play guitar, don't you? I'm a bass player. But you do play guitar. <laughs> You own several guitars. I'm, 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 I'm a, I'm a, I'm a multi-instrumentalist. Is that like one of those dudes that can read minds? Yeah. yeah. Get out of my head. Um, man, so it's a really great night tonight. Like I said, five bands. Um, two of them are actually on tour with us right now. And uh, one of them is from here. And then one of them uh, are some friends of ours from back in Dallas. But uh, not your girlfriend's and the Dolly Rods are on tour with us right now and uh, future tomorrow. It's not your girlfriend's first. So he's going to be there early. Uh, I've got to wait and pick up my son Nicholas from work. So Nicholas and I will go a little bit later for the show and meet up with the Bitter Bass Man for Bowling Pursuit. Should be fun. I've never seen them in concert, but I think they're they're funny. <laughs> they're funny and they have some really catchy music. So I'm interested, interested to see them tonight. At uh, Clicks in Tyler, which is the same place uh, you've seen us go to some Warefoot shows. So that'll be later this evening. So exciting. Now I've got to move some amps around and uh, maybe get a demo video set up for an amp. Good Lord. We've just been going crazy. 90 to nothing. Oh, something going on. Car troubles. More car troubles. Car repairs, just crazy stuff, just going nonstop. Um, been busy. T 
teaching a lot of lessons, helping a lot of customers. So my demo videos, uh, <laughs> they've kind of fallen behind. I haven't done as many of those. And now I'm starting to get a little bit more picky about the sound quality and stuff for those videos, which is probably an exercise and you feel in futility because no matter what, I have trouble getting it to sound as good as it sounds in the room. Having it sound like that when recorded, you know, on YouTube, it just never translates. And I've seen, I mean, you've seen people who do these really high quality demos and there's a lot of not trickery that goes into it, but it's just hard to be realistic, you know, because you can listen to a video by somebody, <laughs> a pedal or an amp or whatever, and then you go by that pedal or amp, it's like, this doesn't sound like that video. Crap, you know? Well, first of all, you're not Pete Thorne. <laughs> we don't have his hands or his touch or his ability or whatever, you know, um, and then the way things are mic'd and then there's post-production sometimes and mixes. Ike can tell you about this. Ike sells a lot of pedals at Flipside Music in Denver. And I have people who watch these pedal reviews online. And then they go in and try a pedal in the store. And they're like, this doesn't sound like that guy's video. So, anyways. Uh, you know, I don't know. It is what it is. But um, I, I need to do more of that stuff. Actually, I want to do more teaching videos. That's what I really want to do. But, you know, I've got some demos I need to get done. Just need to do it. All right. I'm going to move some stuff around. Talk to y'all in a bit. I'm still at the shop. Uh, I've still had to enter all the uh, tags and data and, you know, uh, time points on the video. So I've still been working on the Ask RNA video, getting all the details entered. And it should be ready to go. Other than i got to do the end screen credits, but I can't do that until it's finished <laughs> uploading. But anyways, uh, so... I am off to go pick up Nicholas from work, probably come back to the shop, and uh, I've got everything set up to do my um, amplifier sort of recording demo. I <sighs> don't know if I'll do it today or I'll do it tomorrow. Thinking about doing it tomorrow, but I kind of don't want to do it tomorrow. Since I'm already here working, I might as well do it today. So I think, I think I will come back after I pick up Nicholas. I think I will come back and I will try to do some uh, demo work. Video demo work. Anyways, all right, I gotta go pick up Nicholas from work. See y'all in a little bit. So I promised Ryan that I would get a few clips of the house and what I'm doing today. So I'm getting ready to um, meet some friends to attend a new church um, that I attended once before. Um, it's really great church. It's in Athens. It's Athens Life Fellowship. And one of my dear friends, Rhonda, is a member there and her husband, Rick. And so I'm going to go tonight since Saturdays are my only free day, really, in, to attend a church since I work at the Methodist Church in the mornings in their nursery. And so, yeah, Aiden and I are going to attend that while Ryan and Nicholas go to a concert tonight. So my friend Celia and hopefully my friend Brenda will be there. And yeah, it's going to be great. I cannot wait. Um, I really like going and seeing how other people worship. So this should be really interesting and wonderful and relaxing and much needed. All right. in the car. I'm not driving. Oh, it's a red house. Neither is he. We're in the back seat and we're going to the church. We're riding with my friend, Celia. They didn't go through on their bike. Brenda. Oh. Brenda Kay. Hi. <laughs> so we're heading to pick up That's Rhonda. That's the way I am. And then we're going to church. Wait to change shirts, huh? Yep. Get out of your work clothes. Off work. 
Yay. I know. Great feeling, right? How was work? It was pretty good. It was a bit slow because of the storm, but that's not bad. All right. All right. Nicholas and I are on our way to Tyler to go see Bowling for Soup with the Bitter Bass Man. <laughs> Bowling for Soup Ladles. Uh, wrapped up all our work at the shop. It's about 7.25. We're headed to Tyler. We'll see y'all there.
Nicholas and I just got home. It's uh, 12.45 after midnight. Almost 1 a.m. Almost. Almost. So we're going to call it a day or an evening or whatever. Well, the next day. Hope you enjoy our vlog. We'll see you guys next time. Keep the music alive. Keep the music alive. <laughs> Bye. I'm going to go to sleep now. Bye.